Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland and today I am here to film the 60th project on my 100 days of hashtag simple stamping so let's see how this goes I've got a wee idea I've got the moths out again night of flight, love them and I've got artistically inked. So I kind of thought the two together we could do some very pastel colours and then stamp over them in tuxedo black. It might not work. But then I probably wouldn't be letting you watch it if it didn't work. So make of that what you want. So I don't know if I'm putting a sentiment in here or not, or if I'm just making an arty card, I don't know. So I've got a layer of white, a layer of black, a lemon lolly card base, and a layer of white for inside. That's all I've got at the moment. So I'm thinking I'm just going to use the outlines of a moth or two. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I'm doing this. I've just raked for layers and things and I kind of thought this would make, add good colour to the moths. just thought I would play. So I don't know if I'm going to have three or two. The thing I didn't do was make sure I had my Oh, for goodness sake, I've not got my chamois. Where have I put it? It was here earlier. Every single video, you think I did it on purpose? Yeah, I do really. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Are they over here? I might have to switch this video off and start again. I've got them, I've got them. I've got... Right, okay, sorry for time wasting. I've got them here. <laughs> It's just because I'm doing the colours, I need to change as we go. I wonder if I should do the lemon lolly first. I'm going to do it kind of in the middle. So I don't know if we're going to get two moths or three moths here. Let's put that one there. I just like the... Oh, just the I love this stamp I just like the watery colory look it get, you get with it so that this is soft sea foam now I haven't even checked but I think I'm moth will fit on there close that up Clean it off and then just do bubble bath at the bottom. It's pretty. So we've got that stamp to be cleaned properly and then find a moth. Right, let's just close up the colours. I like these colours together. I haven't used them much. I always go for stronger colours. I don't use the subtles enough. And my moths are flying all over the place here. I thought one had flown away. So that one's too big. So I think we might be going for this one, yeah, that's about the size for the paper that I've got here, right. Okay, we've got that. And then we're just going to stamp this way. <laughs> the decisions you make when you're making a card. 
sometimes I really do overthink things too much. I'm just aiming it over the colour. making sure I've got enough ink on here. I'm happy with that and then this one that way. So instead of the flight of the bumblebee it's the flight of the moths. And then ink it up again. moths flying off into the night. I don't know what sentiment would you put on here. Could do hello. The thanks is too big. I don't want to dig out another stamp set. We could fit best wishes in there but I think a wee hello would be nice wouldn't it? something a bit different get me I've been doing Christmas cards so just nice to do something that's not a Christmas card. I'm quite pleased with that. It's just a matter of sticking it together now. Well finding glue that works and then sticking it together. Great. There we go. This is the one that works. So again, chasing my tail again. Late in the day. But I did do a live um, earlier on today so I didn't want to put them both out at the same time. So there you go, artistically ink meets Night of Flight. Night of Flight is one of the host sets that you can buy with your commission if you have an order that's £150 or more. Now if you find that a bit scary then you could get together with a friend to get an order that size. I'm loving that. I think that just works fine, doesn't it? Right, do we do some kind of decoration on... I actually think we'll just... Does it fit on there? Yeah, just... Wipe the stamp off and just do a wee pattern. That's, that's not enough. Where's the big block that I had the right front of me that the moth was on? It's late at night. And the room's too warm, I've just switched the heating off. I'd gone away in the other part of the house and left the heating on in here and it's boiling. So it's making me a bit sleepy. Just use lemon lolly. Just put a bit of a pattern. Well, we'll do kind of in the middle. 
shows up really nice, doesn't it? Right, there we go, put that for cleaning, close the ink and stick this in. Number 60. Thank you so much for your support. I do hope if you have that stamp set that you will get it out and have a go. If you don't have that stamp set, you could, if you've got um, artistically ink, you could, you know, you could use this, these ink splots. I don't know, ink splodge is what it looks like. And you could use that in a different way. You, you could do a flower on it, you could stamp something else on it if you don't have the moths. Even this flower then, you you know, if you've got another uh, line drawing of a flower that's about that size, then you could then do that over the top. You, you really can play with this. So this has been great, but I think it will retire at the end of May. I don't think it will go up. We've had it quite a while. I think it's a super reset. But thank you very, very much for following this series. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. And please press the bell icon to get notified when I'm coming on again. And thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one.